Hi guys, I already did tutorial on GPS location in Android, but I got asked a lot of times to implement these location updates as a service. So here it is, enjoy. So let's go. In the layout file I placed two buttons, one that will start the service and the other that will stop it. And of course there is a text view that will display results from the service. Alright, in the main activity I referenced these buttons and the text view with the find view by ID method. First go to the manifest and enable these permissions. Then we will add a new service. Create this service and extend it with the proper service class. We will finish it later. In order to make this working on Android SDK 23 and up, we must check for user permissions. So let's create a new method in which we check for these permissions. Also make this method return boolean, because if the SDK is under 23, we don't need checking. So we ask, if our SDK version is 23 or bigger, and if our two location permissions are not granted, then we ask for the permissions. When asking for permissions, please provide a unique request code for permission checking. So in this case, if we ask for permissions, we will return true. And if we don't need permission checking, then we will return false. OK, so now in the onCreate method, we can ask the following. If we don't need permission checking, then just skip this piece of code and call the method that will make our buttons clickable in order to start the service, of course. And let's create this method enable buttons. Now if we do need the permission checking, we must handle the user's response. We do that in onRequestPermissionResult method. In this method, we check if the request code is equal to our previously typed code, which is number 100 in this case, and also we check if both permissions are granted. If they are, we enable the buttons, and if they are not, well, we can ask for the permissions again. Now let's deal with this enable buttons method. In this method we will just set on click listeners for both buttons. In the start button on click listener, we will create a new intent that points to our service. In order to start the service, call method start service and provide the intent from the line above. In the stop button, we create the same intent and then call the method stop service. Now let's dig into the service itself. We must overwrite the onBind method, so don't forget it. Then uh, declare objects that are needed for the location services, which are the location listener and location manager. When the service is started, method that executes is called onCreate. So override that method. Inside of it, we will initialize the location listener. Okay, if the location services are disabled on the phone, we will point the user to the settings panel to enable them, and we do it in on provider disabled method. Here, we will create a new location settings intent which points the user to the location settings panel. OK, now initialize the location manager with the getSystemService method. And to start the process, we call the manager with the requestLocationUpdates method. We will set it to listen for updates every 3 seconds. Now it says to check for the permission, but we already did that in the main activity, so just suppress this warning. Next, when the service is destroyed, we must ensure that the listener is not active anymore so we don't get any memory leaks. So override the onDestroy method 
and unregister the listener with the location manager dot remove updates method. Suppress the warning here too. Okay, when there is a location update, method on location changed will be called. Now we need to transfer the data from this method to our main activity. There are several ways to do that. In this example we will use the broadcast receiver class. Basically we create the custom intent, we attach some data to it and then we broadcast that intent. So let's create a new intent. Now we need to provide an intent filter. Intent filter is just a string. Name it like for example location update. When we register the broadcast receiver in the main activity, we will also provide this intent filter so that the broadcaster in main activity will will only listen for intents that have location update as an intent filter. Next we will put additional information along with the intent. This information is the actual location change which are longitude and latitude values. So call the method put extra and for the key type something like I don't know coordinates and for the value use methods get longitude and get latitude from the location instance. And then to broadcast the intent call the send broadcast method. Alright, the service is now done. What we need next is to register the receiver in the main activity. So de declare a broadcast receiver. When we make receivers we must correctly register them and unregister them to prevent memory leaks. To register them correctly use the onResume method. Here we ask if the receiver doesn't exist then we will create a new one. And then we call the method register receiver. First parameter is the broadcast receiver instance from above and the second parameter is the intent filter. If we go to the service class we can see that we named this intent filter location underscore update. So copy paste it. So when our broadcast receiver receives the intent it will call this method named onReceive. And in that method we can append our text view with the intent's additional information. To get that additional information we can call the method getExtras then get and provide our key. Key that we set earlier is named coordinates. Ok, so the last step is to unregister the receiver when the app is closed. So override the onDestroy method. First we check if the receiver exists. If it exists then unregister it. And that's all. Now we can do the testing. First we confirm the permissions. Then click start service. Notice the location icon on the top. So the service is now listening for the location changes. We just need to simulate location changes and to do that open the control panel of the emulator and choose your desired longitude and latitude and press send. As you see we are getting the information on device. And when we click stop and test again it shouldn't work because the service is now destroyed. Yeah. <coughs> That's all folks, uh, see you next time, bye bye.